they've been uh, rubbished by both the Irish Aviation Authority and the Spanish Aviation Authority. I mean, these allegations which have been made in by people uh, on television in Holland in sitting in a dark room with their faces painted out saying, we're pressured to take less fuel. There's no evidence. 54% of, every fl- of all Ryanair flights take more than extra fuel. The other 46% take <coughs> the fuel that they need. So our policy on fuel is pilots, you decide how much fuel you want, you take as much fuel as you want. What they used was we had these three diversions to Valencia on the 26th of July. They, the, the Irish, the safety authorities of Europe investigated those three cases and they said all three airplanes took extra fuel. They went to Madrid, diverted to Valencia, held overhead for an extra hour and still landed with more than half an hour fuel. So the allegations are completely untrue. It would be impossible for any airline to say to a pilot, you must fly with less fuel. The only thing that uh, Alitalia can do, I think, is the same as Iberia, the same as SAS, try to find a partner with one of the bigger airlines, Air France, in the case of Alitalia, uh, BA with Iberia, SAS probably Lufthansa. But that would mean that there'd be much more cuts, I think, and reductions in Italian domestic uh, routes and routes from Italy to other countries. In the future, Alitalia will survive, but it will be a much smaller airline. My view is I don't think it's necessary. Uh, If you look at the growth of traffic at at the airport here in recent years, it hasn't been held back by the absence of a rail uh, connection. The airport is relatively close to the city, so... I mean, I think, it, like many things, it would be nice to have, but uh, it is not central, it's not important for the continued growth of the airport.